Drop the cash, you fucking punk! I told you, I don't know what I gave you! I bet he fucking lied! Where's the knife? It's in my, my back pocket, it's in my back pocket. I got you. Shit! Fuck you, fuck you. What the fuck? Yo, man. Yeah. Thanks, you're too dull. Sweet, I hope the store's open. You think he's dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. Me too. Yo, who the fuck are you? Goodbye. Okay, just got the new house with Carly, and I'm super excited. Here we go. See my baby. Hello. Hey. Baby. Hey. How are you? Good. You? Yeah? I'm good. This house is so. Good. Oh my! It looks honestly amazing. Hey. Thank you, dude. How are you? Good. Yeah. I'm good. Is your sister coming today? Yeah, she's coming around. So she's at, she's actually coming. Is your mom coming too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, I did it. Okay, cool. What are you doing? I set up the camera. Are you serious? Yeah. So now we can record ourselves at night. Are you crazy? And it has night vision, so it's automatically set to like when we fall asleep.
Carly? The door is just opening by itself. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure it's just thing. No. There's no, there's no way the air conditioner can do that. The door, li look, just look. The door is literally just opening by itself right now. It's a, it's a complete. Dude, I don't know, like, that sounds a little crazy. Don't you think? Yeah, can I make uh, reservations for tomorrow? Who are you talking to? Surprise. You'll see you tomorrow. What are you watching? My is so hot. Do you think so? Yeah, he's super hot. No, because you're not believing me. I told you about the whole wind thing. You sound fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. There's no way there's a ghost. It's our air conditioning, obviously. No, how is it our air conditioning? Like, honestly, just fuck, like, explain to me. Just explain to me, like, what you think it is. I don't know what it is. I, I really don't. To be honest with you, I have no I idea what it is. This shit, dude. It's nothing. You have to fucking relax. Relax? I woke up in the middle of the night and that door just shut on me. How am I supposed to relax? I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, you sound crazy. Whatever. Whatever. Wow, wow, wow. We just went to the maze tonight. Uh, where did we go? Carpaccio. Carpaccio. Beautiful night. I do recommend going to that restaurant because it's absolutely delicious. Now we're just gonna change and go to bed because that's what we do. Carly's look like shit for 24 hours already. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's her leftover makeup or it's her actual eyes because it's kind of just freaking me out. Look, I'll show you. Carly! Carly! Oh, dude. I have no idea where she is right now. Carly, what the fuck? Carly. 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 Carly, can you please talk to me?
an optimist Sun was shining, I'm positive Then I heard you was talking trash Hold me back, I'm about to spaz Yeah, I'm about four or five seconds from wildin' And we got three more days till Friday I'm trying to make it back home by Monday morning I swear I wish somebody would drive Oh, that's all I want And I know that you're home tonight Thinking how could I be But you call about a thousand times Wondering where I've been Now I know that you're home tonight Thinking how could I be so reckless But I just can't apologize I hope you can understand If I go to jail tonight Promise you'll pay my bail See, they want them by my pride But that just ain't up for sale See, all of my kindness mm -hmm, Is taken for weakness Now I'm four or five seconds from wilding So my mom told me about a financial opposition in this company. I really hope I get this. I need it. Gianna? Sarah? Miss Jane, if you will, can you have your resume, please? resume is perfect. It's what she did. She put taking care of friend's dog for a week under the work experience column. What do you want this job? Are those your kids? Yes. Did you marry him? Yes. You ruined my life. It was just a guy. Just a guy? It was Jack. He was my guy. You took my guy and married him. He was my guy. He wasn't her guy. He wasn't your guy. He! You know what I mean. Okay, this interview is over. You need to leave! You need to leave! What? No! 
You didn't even! Security! Security! Do I think I got the job? Yeah, probably. Doesn't make sense now. Shit just got real, things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we a lot, or you speak French now. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hint now. I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I own a watch? Do I know what time it is right now? Yeah. It's after 2 a.m. and that's asking a lot of you right now. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. All she ever says, is come and see me for us, come and see me for us. You don't ever come to me. You don't ever come to me. I've been up for two whole days thinking what I did to keep you going. Thumbing through the voicemails that you left me telling me where I went wrong. I'll admit I'm sorry when I feel I'm truly sorry Things change, people change, feelings change too Never thought the circumstances would have changed you You said you never traded, no yeah, you said you said you said And I believed you when they told me don't Well, either way, you're still invited And I can't even lie to you Swear these days all you say is Come and see me for us Come and see me for us You don't ever come to me You don't ever come to me How she hit me with is Come and see me for us Come and see me for us oh. Y'all don't ever come to me Y'all don't ever come to me Why you gotta start girl Why you gotta start I know we make time for the things that we want I know you got another nigga tryna play the part Just cause he got a heart don't mean he got a heart Could be standing in the field and he still ain't in the field If anything should change then I thought we had a deal Lately you keep questioning what you get out the deal Doing things to make me feel the way I make it feel How hard is it to let you know when I'm coming home? That way you could be prepared Maybe take a couple sick days and I miss pay I don't even know what things are looking like inside of your place Our house decorated This thing is getting one-sided, I can't even lie to you right now Yeah All she talking about is come and see me for once Come and see me for once Y'all don't ever come to me Y'all don't ever come to me Yeah All she hit me with is come and see me for once Come and see me for once you don't ever come to me Y'all don't ever come to me So, how are things with your mom? Uh, they're okay, I guess, I mean... I guess they're as good as they're ever going to get. But 
What if things could be better? Well, that'd be great, but it's useless to dream about things that'll never be. You're really depressing, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, I wish I had the chance to make things better. I wish you did too. Do you ever wish you could do things differently? Sometimes. Other times I think about all the good things that have happened to me and I realize I've lived a good life. Yeah, you did. Good, good friends, good family. Sometimes I think this is as good as it'll ever get for me. You say that a lot, as good as it'll ever get, but you concentrate too much on the past. You have to concentrate on the present and think about the future. Thanks, self-help book. Look, I know it's cheesy, but I mean it. You have to let go. You concentrate too much on the bad things in life. I'm just not ready to let go just yet. So, how long has it been? Today marks six months. It feels like less time. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that you're really gone. I know that you're not really here and that you're just a figment of my imagination, but sometimes it just feels so real. I was real once. I know, and now you're gone, and everyone says that you're in a better place and that you're happy now, and it's... I hope you're happy. Are you moving on? Yeah. Bon alors, qu'est-ce qui vous amène everybody, I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Brandy, hit with the top stories today on this Tuesday, June 9th. And we begin with new developments in the search for two convicted killers. Yeah. Two convicted murderers escaping this maximum security prison for the first time in its 170 year history. The cons apparently used power tools to escape New York's Clinton Correctional Facility. Now, they had to time their procedure precisely. At some point, both men used power tools to cut a hole through the steel wall in their cells behind their beds. Since the prison had been undergoing renovations, the construction would drown out the noise of the electrical tools if timed correctly. Their names are David Sweat and Richard Matt. The two men had been devising the plan for quite some time now, doing every chance they could. We cut a hole in the pipeline and escaped free. 
Yeah, just that easy. How do you expect us not to get caught? 400 yards down a tunnel, coming to a manhole they sawed open with their tool. Where the fuck is she with the car? She'll be here. Just be patient. We just fucking escaped the prison. They could be looking for us any second now. Ugh. You're right. Let, let's wait at least two minutes. If she isn't here, we'll go. Two minutes. The news had broken out of the escape at the prison. They weren't hurt for about two weeks, all this time laying low in the woods. After breaking into the woods, the two needed a place to gather their things and plan their next step. Get off your ass. We're leaving. I'm not going anywhere right now. I have to gather my shit. They're gonna find us if we don't leave now. Who knows if that bitch ride us out? I don't think she would. Okay. Have fun in prison. Again. I'm leaving now. Jesus Christ. David? Oh, shit. When Willett checks the cabin with his son, he immediately notices something out of place. Just a, a bottle of gin that had moved off one counter to another, and it was spilt. There was a ring, it was wet, and the cap was on the floor. By this point, their plan had undeniably begun to crumble. Their getaway route was misstep after misstep. And that's where you came in. No, again, I wasn't, I, I didn't go through with it. I knew it was wrong. You still helped them out of the prison. You were clearly an accomplice. You were the vehicle, correct? Yes. I was supposed to pick them up outside of the prison. But, but I couldn't. Can you sneak the tools into the cells? Yes. We have record of you saying he convinced you to kill your husband? Is that true? Yes. Hey Lucas. Hey, what's up, man? Did you hear? No, I was doing my homework. I used to need to block off the distractions. I think we all do. Sorry that my dad's giving you so much homework. It's all good, man. It's not just him. 
Like, in seriousness, who gives out fits at homework? I don't know, man, but I can see it's really affecting you. What? For example, you have really bad bags. Have you gotten any sleep? Actually, I haven't slept in eight days. Oh, shit. Yeah, but it's not just that. Like, everything in my life's just going to shit right now. Like, my aunt, she's in trouble, my dad's company's going bankrupt, and my parents are getting divorced just to top it all off. So the homework's just like adding on for the insomnia. Oh man, your life is shit. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me how good it is. Hey man, at least your dad is in the chemistry teacher by day, and in his spare time, cooks man. True, you're right. But in all seriousness, man, it's not healthy. You could really fuck up your mind like that. You shit it. Hey Nicholas, you're studying the brain. Right now having much sleep is really bad. Lost cause over here doesn't seem to know anything, but I'm pretty sure it's really bad. I heard you can fuck your mind up, like you can hallucinate from it. More than this kid, I highly doubt it. What? see you everywhere I look. You don't say anything to me. I am sick of it. And I feel like you're really just judging me and that, that really fucked up. So, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But, pretty much what I'm trying to say is, will you go on a date with me? Yeah, you're funny. I'll go on a date with you. Really? Yeah. Should I pick you up at 5.30, say? Yeah, I mean, you're really cute, and we could probably have some chemistry. Alright, what's your name, by the way? Courtney. Alright, my name's Lucas. Okay. See you tonight. Alright. Just again sometime. It all depends on you. What? You find out soon enough. Okay, well, I guess now I know more about you. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Prove it. Okay, um, I know you're from a small town in Florida. Um, Florida. I'll give you a hint. And there's a car named after it. Subaru. No, good guess, but it's Seabrook. Okay, well, then I was completely... <laughs> oh, well, Alright, another one. Look, I would love to play 
20 questions all night, but we don't have a time for it. So let's do something else. Alright. Tell me something about you. Well, I mean, my family's just American. It's just, it's not anything special. Like, I don't really want to talk about it. Why not? I mean, I'm in a tough situation right now. So I don't want to talk about it. Well, look, if you want me to trust you and you want this to go forward, we have to talk. And I think one of the biggest reasons you haven't been sleeping is because you're carrying too much weight and you need help carrying it. I know I haven't had any sleep. Well, it's not like you have really bad bags or anything. Alright, well, I'll start with my dad's company going bankrupt. somebody just for their money. About your aunt? I'm really sorry. I hope she feels better. That's fine, I guess. I mean, even after the surgery, her legs are not going to be the same. Well, you know, everything happens for a reason anyway. Um, yeah, I guess. Dark and right on the middle mark, and just in the tear of everything that rides below the surface. In dreams, your subconscious can uncover the wishes that your conscious mind has learned to repress. Dreams typically reflect one of your deepest desires or concerns. Sigmund Freud believes that dreams are the direct result of repressed emotions and they might represent unconscious thoughts wishes or desires. At the time, I met her in my dreams. I realized what my concern was and at the same time my desire. It is said that as soon as you start to pursue a dream, your life wakes up and everything is normal. Just like the white wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just like the white wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing.
Put that down and eat your dinner. It's getting cold. What is this crap? It's Salisbury steak. I hate it. You do not hate it. You had it the other week and you loved it. No, I didn't. I hate brown stuff. It's gross. All it is is onions and gravy. I'm allergic to onions. You are not allergic to onions. You had this last week and remember I told you that it was my favorite when I was a little boy? And you said it was your favorite too. I did not. Yes, you did. Here, try a little hamburger. Have a little bite, it's delicious. Look! What's the matter? I think I'm gonna throw up. No, you're not. Now you're gonna eat your... Yucky. It's not yucky, Billy. Eat it. Did you remember to bring the chocolate chip ice cream home? Yes, I did remember to bring the chocolate chip ice cream home. And you're not gonna have any of it until you eat all your dinner. And then eat your meat and your corn. Where are you going? Get back here right now. Did you hear me? You better not do that. You better stop right there, fella. I'm warning you. Hey! Did you hear me? Now you better listen to me. You go right back and put that back until you finish your dinner. I'm warning you, you take one bite out of that and you're in big trouble. Hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare do that. Did you hear me? Hey, stop. Hold it right there. You put that ice cream in your mouth and you're in very, very big trouble. Don't you dare go anywhere. Put it down right now. I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again. I am not. You're hurting me. You're spoiled, rotten little rat. I hate your back, you little shit. I want my mommy! I'm all you got. There is a house built out of stone Wooden floors, walls, and window cells. Tables and chairs worn by all of the dust. This is a place where I don't feel. This is a place where I feel at
branches were sold by the color of green. Ground had rose and passed its knees. Hello, my name is Tommy Rod. Have you ever screwed up? If you have said yes, then we have just what you need. Flashback, the drink that takes you in time. For example, take a look at this. Hurry up, I'm just like staying in here. I don't Babe, what the fuck? No shit! What have you been doing after this? We jumped from place to place and what have you gotten? I told you to load the gun up. I know, I know. But I'm just thinking, like, what's next? Like, we could easily get shot at, locked up, then no more chances, that's it. That's why I always keep my cross on me. All right, part the Red Sea while you're at it. All right, just pass him the gun. You talk so much shit. It's not shit, you just haven't thought about it. You must understand the complexity of this mission. We've done some like it, but none quite like this one. Now, 
we've gone over the plan, instructions, etc. So if we stick with it, we'll be fine. Of course, boss. What's the take? Approximately 800. Split 320s and 140 for the boss. That'd be around 160 for you, pal. Fuck, I'm starving, man. Boss, can you make a quick pit stop? I need to take a shift. Yeah, all right, five minutes, that's it. Stay back. Compromise the mission. The police will be here any second. Now. Mission asshole, he's fucking dying Just on the get fucking car. Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. <clears throat> Got it, Tim. Our inside man's getting anxious. We have to do this right now. Can we still do this? Someone's gonna have to fill in for him. One guy at the front instead of two. All right, I guess I'll fill in for him. You stay with the clerks, and then he gets the ball. Exactly. Just one less person on the floor. So don't fuck up. I won't. Listen, listen. Look, it's the same deal, nothing's changed. We just need you to open the gate. It's not a big deal. Tim, relax. All right, Tim, we'll be there in uh, 10 minutes. All right. Boss, it says it'll be there in four minutes. Can we do the recap now? We've gone over it so many times, I feel like I'm wasting my breath. Okay. Stay calm and don't fuck this up. Let's do this.
Gopala, 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 Devakinandana Gopala, Gopala. 